Shadow wants to buy a new bicycle that has a retail price of $259.99. She knows that it will be on sale next week for 30% off the retail price. If the tax rate is 7%, find the total amount to the nearest cent that you will save by waiting until next week. Well, the total now is not just going to be $259.99, she also has to pay 7% tax. So 7% of the $259.99 is the same thing as writing 0 .07 times $259.99 of can be replaced with a times for the most part. If you do that calculation, you'll end up getting 278 point blah blah blah. Now it's important to keep the blah 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 because we don't want to round until we get to the end. Otherwise we might be off by a cent and we'll get the problem wrong, maybe a point off. The sale price would be 259.99 minus 30%. So that's minus 0.30 times 259.99. And if you do that in the calculator, you'll get 181 point blah, blah, blah. But then you've got to add tax on that. So then you add 0 0.07 times 181 point blah, blah, blah. And you get 194 point blah, blah, blah. Now be careful that you don't add the tax first. You're only going to get taxed on the amount of money that you give the store. Then we just have to take the total now minus the total it would be next week and subtract and that gives you 83.45679 remember though it said to the nearest cent so this is going to be 83.46 because you look at the cents place which is a five and then you look at the number to the right of it and if that number is five or above then you round up so you send it from 45 to 46 now if it was below 5, then you would just keep that number the same way it was. You would just keep it as 45.